Matt, good afternoon. Uh, President Carter, he was honest. He called today a bit overwhelming, but said he's taking it one day at a time. He talked about his goals the first few months on campus. He addressed the war between Israel and Hamas and even answered a couple questions about Ryan Day and his job security. But he said his priority over these first few days is to be humble, to listen, and to learn. He says that he's excited and ready to get going and said that he's ready to earn the trust of students, faculty, staff, and the community. Carter has been in higher education for more than a decade, but says this is the largest organization he's ever come into and says that his job is to turn the vision of what is already a fantastic university and take it to the next level. Now, back in August, Carter said that one of his top priorities would be student safety, a message that he echoed again this morning. He says he wants to make sure that they're using every resource at their disposal, not only to keep campus safe, but the areas around campus as well. Carter also says that he wants Ohio State to be centered on student success and expanding the opportunities for higher education and plans to draft a strategy in the coming months that supports those core pillars. You have to just take it one day at a time, take a deep breath. Uh, it's really all about the people at the end of the day. Uh, I've had a chance to meet hundreds of people just in my first week last week. The amount of information is, is impressive. Um, but, you know, if you're going to eat an elephant, it's one bite at a time, right? Now, Carter says that there is a lot to do from the athletic department to the medical facilities to engaging with the community and partners. Again, he says there's a lot to do already. He says over the next 60 to 90 days, he will begin meeting with what he calls the circles of influence at Ohio State, including students, staff and parents. Local for you here on campus, Matthew Herchick, NBC4.